What's happening good people? Today we were going to continue along the line of these fabulous pedals that you can find on Amazon and other fine retailers. And we were going to do a shootout between the vintage Phase and a Phase 95 from MXR. When I started looking at it and getting prepared for this video, I wound up clicking this thing on and it did absolutely nothing. So it's complete garbage. Well, for, I guess, uh, sub $20, you're going to win some and lose some in the, in the pedal line. Probably wouldn't have that problem with a good old-fashioned MXR pedal. So, instead, we have two pedals left, and we might as well just do them right now. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Digital Delay and Tremolo. Somewhat different effects, but we might as well finish off this line so we can move on up, because we got a couple more lines to go through. Just going to tune up real quick. And while I'm tuning up, I just want to let you know, most of you out there watching right now, you're not subscribed to the channel. You should go down and click that button. It won't hurt, I promise. All right, we're just going to work our way through the tremolo first, and then we'll go over to the digital delay. All the levels are at noon, and we're we'll just going to give you a couple chords. Bump the rate up to three o'clock and the intensity is at noon still. We bump the intensity up to three o'clock and the rate is at three o'clock. Max everything out. Back the intensity down. We'll keep the rate up and see what that does. And we'll just reverse it. Crank the intensity all the way up and put the rate down at 9. It sounds like when you take the intensity and you crank it all the way and back the rate down to the nine o'clock position, it sounded like it was that very swelling motion that you can accomplish with just using your volume knob on your guitar. And the opposite, at least in the room, didn't sound like it was much of anything. When it was cranked all the way, everything, it seemed like it was very almost like high intensity chorusy type, but it didn't sound like it was too usable in that area, but Seems like you can get some decent tones out of that. 
Now let's go over to the digital delay. Everything is currently at noon. Boost the level up to 3 o'clock, everything else at noon. Crank the time up a little bit. Alright, I hate to say it, but let's crank the repeats up to 3 o'clock. If you haven't seen the analog delay pedal yet, you should go back and check out that video and see the dangerous territory we're about to embark on. See how it goes. Everything at 3 o'clock. Save your ears this time, but yeah. It seems like they uh, replicated that just as well in this pedal. Now we're gonna see if we can clear it. If this is anything like that analog delay pedal, then pretty much we're gonna take the repeats and max it out at one o'clock. And that seems like where it gets like the threshold of where it becomes completely unusable. Yeah, it seems like it's on par with the analog delay. Maybe you get anything past that one o'clock position and then you all of a sudden can't really use it anymore. So I'm gonna try backing some stuff down and see how it sounds there. We got the time and the repeats at the nine o'clock position and the level cranked. Now we have the level and the repeats at the nine o'clock and we have the time cranked. And just for fun, let's crank the repeats back up, see if we can do something where the time and the level are at the nine o'clock position. Don't have any hopes for it, but let's see. Didn't even have to strike a note. I guess that answers that question. For good measure, why don't we just put the tremolo and the delay together and see how that sounds. All the knobs are at noon.
that concludes the pedal lineup. The next future video that we'll be having these in is we're gonna actually create a pedal board with them. So we will A, B the digital and analog delay and some of the drives compared to the other ones and the two choruses again. And we're gonna build a pedal board out of these uh, cheap little uh, budget pedals. Hope you enjoyed this line so far and we'll see. Hopefully the next, as we increment, when we go up in price range, hopefully it does a little bit better of a job for you. I really hope you guys and gals are all enjoying this content. I really love bringing it to you and hopefully we can get some better pedals out there for you. Not saying these aren't bad for beginners, but I want to get all the audiences covered that it may be viewing. You all have been a fantastic audience and as always, stay tuned.